SavageOrlandoMagic.com. Cliff, you, you got some, some gutsy performances. Uh, you guys did well uh, with some second chance points, but what stood out to you about the team in this particular win? Well, you know, first of all, our defense, I mean, we had 48 deflections, uh, which is, you know, it just shows effort into the ball, uh, you know, the ball pressure. Um, and then, I mean, you know, the guys that, that to me stood out, James Ennis, obviously, uh, with his defense and his shooting. Um, you know, Wendell had a, a terrific all. I mean, a lot of guys played well, Gary well. You know, MCW, those guys are telling me that, that they're shocked that he was even able to continue to play after the, uh, you know, when he slipped there, uh, you know, in front of the basket. And then Dante Hall, you know, who obviously, uh, particularly in the first half, was uh, – was a real factor with his, with his basket protection. So hey, I'm happy for the guys, you know, they, they've hung in there. Um, getting Gary back is, is a big help. And obviously the way we shot the ball. Josh Robbins, the athletic. Steve, can you describe what you saw from Wendell Carter today and, and perhaps anything you may have learned that you didn't, uh, that you didn't know before about how he re would react in a, in a game that, would carry some emotion for him? Uh, I mean, I, you know, I think he's, he's a, he's, he, I mean, he competed, he's competed hard every game we've played. And uh, I think he has good poise, excellent feel for the game. Um, I think he plays offense in a way that he helps his teammates. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, he, he was really good, but I mean, I, I wouldn't say he did anything that he can't do every night or anything that really surprised me. Roy Perry, Orlando Sentinel. Steve, Wendell talked last, uh, after the uh, loss to the Spurs about how you, the team needs to learn how to win. I'm just curious, you know, what steps do you think you guys took tonight toward that end uh, and kind of learning how to play together and, and be successful? Well, we had 29 assists tonight on 44 baskets and and only seven turnovers. That That's a big part of it. And then I would say, without watching the film, we were much more organized on defense. Um, obviously, we had some trouble with Vooch, and Levine in the fourth just got going. Um, but we did have, again, Wendell was in the middle of it, but we had a good double team, you know, up eight, where Mike came in and stole the ball, which was, you know, a big play for us. So... I would, you know, I would say those things. Josh Robbins. Steve, before the game, you said it would be difficult to coach against Vooch. Uh, how did it turn out for you? Was, was, uh, well, the difficult, the, the difficult part is getting to him, you know, uh, deciding what to do on his post-ups, because as you guys know, if you play one-on-one, -on -one, he's normally going to score. And if you go and get him, you're going to give up an open shot, be it a cut or a spot, a spot up three. And then obviously early in the game, it's just his, his feel for the game, his ability to say, use a pick and a flare to get to an open area. And uh, it's a difficult cover. And then obviously in the fourth quarter, you know, they, I mean, they got back in the game and made their run primarily with the Levine Vooch pick and rolls, which is, you know, it's, it's, it, that's a challenge to defend. Dan Savage. Cliff, you, you know, Dante has only been here for seems like a, a matter of hours, uh, you know, and you talked he'd have to learn a lot on the fly. Does his performance ah. exemplify how much you can you can do if you just bring effort and, and focus on the defensive end? Oh, no question. No, no. And, and, you know, you can the one thing that you can see is, you know, he's played some NBA games. You know, he's played a lot of G League games. He's played in the NBA. So he has a, uh, you know, he has an idea of what's, you know, what's going to occur and what's in front of him. And he understands coverages and things like that. But he played with a lot of poise and obviously uh, basket protection, running the floor. Um, and uh, but that, you know, that's supposed to be his thing. Protect the basket, play with great energy. And he certainly did that. We'll wrap things up with Roy Perry. Steve, how pleased have you been with the way that Cole has sort of gotten to the basket more as he's, you know, reacclimating himself to getting back into playing condition? I mean, tonight was by far his best game. 
And, you know, like for me, um, again, we have to remember he's a rookie. He didn't get summer league. He didn't get September workouts. He was playing, you know, if you go back uh, before he took the injury, he had been playing better and better and better. And it's hard, you know, when you miss, he didn't miss like a week. I mean, he missed a long time. So it's going to take him a little bit till he gets back to the level he was playing at before. But tonight was a good first step towards that, you know. All right, great. Thank you for your time, coach. Thank you.